Can you imagine doing this on a pitching and tossing boat, fucking surfing up and down waves? So it ended up like this one night on the boat <laughs> in a storm. These two ropes tangled around each other in a, just a bird's nest like this. I remember hanging on for about two hours straight, undoing them both. Cursing this fucking rope. Because it just tangles itself around the other one like. Because it's, it's kind of, it's quite grippy. The plan is to get this kind of dry and get it uh, stored away along with everything else. So today is my first training session post-Atlantic, so it's the start of what I'm calling the rebuild because not only am I six weeks post-expedition, but I'm also four over four months since I last trained. And so it's kind of coming up on nearly six months since I last did a proper training session. Um, so if you were just to let, you know, if you were just to do nothing in that time, your body would um, regress and detrain pretty quickly. But if you add in the fact that uh, I did something as extreme as rowing across the North Atlantic, um, you know, outside of rowing, my capacities are massively diminished. So last time, last time I did an expedition, uh, an ocean rowing expedition, and I got back to um, training, I, I had strength levels similar to when I was about 17 years old. I could literally um, hardly bench, uh, bench press 60 kilos. So uh, I, I detrain really quickly. Um, so it's going to be, so today basically what I'm trying to say is the start of um, a long, long road back to where I was about May this year. So what's that? Nearly six months ago now. Very keen just to get the body back in good shape post expedition. So, so I'm just gonna shuffle these, pick a card, seven. So what I'm concentrating on now is just been really centered through them myself, balanced over the pedals, trying to take as much weight as I can off the saddle and into my body if you want, particularly my legs obviously. So light hands, I don't want to be too uh, reliant on holding my weight in my arms, I want my legs to take all that tension and pressure. The awkward part of this is the clock stops after about eight seconds on the concepts. So I have to kind of keep pedaling a little bit just to measure my rest time. But as it's not, performance driven this session doesn't really matter lovely <laughs> so 
So again, I bring my concentration back to my body. So to make that mind body connection. So I'd be specific I think about my left quad here. See if I can feel it working, make a connection with the fatigue. So stay braced as much as I can. When I get tired, that's gonna switch off. It's just switching it back on. So stay concentrated on the position that keeps me in a, the most efficient and trainable body position. So in rest, I wanna concentrate on my breath as a priority and trying to see now it's mouth to mouth. Try to bring that to nasal in, mouth out. Hey, not too bad, that's a good one. It's okay if you, I mean, it's very natural to come and go. It's a deliberate concentration at the start that helps you access that nasal inhale. Once you get things a bit more under control, then it'll be much more natural to less deliberation in your concentration. Got lucky, getting lucky here. Normally I'd have no interest in that, but yeah. Today I don't mind the mind and body will always try and find the easiest way out. So to take pressure off body and mind, it'll just find a more, what he deems a more efficient position. But that may not be the technically ideal position, which if you're training, you should be searching for. So staying awake, Staying attentive and aware and redirecting your body to that position. Really important. So trying to connect with my legs, trying to feel them working. Make that mind muscle connection. It's really important. Feel centered over hips. Feel that weight in my legs. Braced long through my upper body. Don't scrunch up when you start to get tired. Think about lengthening through your limbs. Naturally, you're gonna wanna when you get tired, it's about going the opposite way, fighting your fatigue. So right now, when emotionally and mentally, I'm at my weakest. So it's really important to build awareness around these states. Be honest with yourself. Great way to bring mental control back is through your breath. So concentrate on a specific function of your respiratory system. It might be as simple or as uh, concentrated as feeling the hairs on the bottoms of your nostril as the air goes, sucks by them or filling up your lungs to the maximum capacity. Yeah. Makes the mats easy anyway.
again, concentration is really important. Concentrating on something within your control, technique, body position, effort, breath, or self-talk. As a default, I like to concentrate on body position and technique, because that's what is gonna play the fundamental role in your progression as an athlete in progressing your capacities. Position over intention. That means position is always prioritized above speed, above power in training. There will be some training sessions where you will prioritize intention over position but they're rare and they're absolutely programmed for a reason at that time. Always, unless indicated, position over intention. Prioritize position. Feel that, feel centered. Feel the fatigue, feel the lactic if that's the case. Eight done. Seven. Control your body position through your trunk. Feel it downstream, feel it upstream. Lengthen, lengthen through all limbs. Your mind is gonna move away from those concentrations. Be aware of it, bring it back. Be specific in what you're saying to yourself to bring it back. A specific cue or question. Can I feel my left quad? Are my hips centered? Am I long? through my spine, are my shoulders down, and my stomach brace, something like that, that'll bring your concentration back to something within your control. Not accentuate this leg and it's a non-activation of certain musculature. I bring my concentration to the eccentric portion of the pedal on the left hand side so as I'm coming up I'm thinking about pressing my foot against down into the pedal connecting or reconnecting or building that connection so those muscles that are switched off don't continue to deepen that mind uh, that lack of connection, but work against that. So I'm looking to feel fatigue in my hamstring left and glute. Surprisingly, surprisingly good. I'm surprised all that stuff comes back to me so quickly. Uh, I've just obviously hardwired it so deeply. I, the minute I'm present in that state, it's like the information is clear, you know. Good, to start. <laughs> <laughs> 